Hey people, it is Friday, May the 5th. Time is 5.30 in the afternoon, and it's currently a very pleasant 14 degrees Celsius. And for the first time in what feels like forever, it is not raining out. Which is awesome. And I'm here at the corner of Wellesley Street East and Sherborne Street. I'm going to head east here along Wellesley Street and make my way over to Parliament. And then I'll walk south along Parliament, all the way down to where it ends, down near the shore of Lake Ontario. I definitely have a bit more of a spring in my step today. Thanks to the sunny weather. Just passing by St. James Town. So this is on the east side of downtown. And we're officially coming into the Cabbage Town neighborhood now, after having crossed Sherborne Street, heading eastward. And St. James Town is another neighborhood sort of within greater Cabbage Town. This is the Wellesley Fruit Market. And here's Ontario Street. And I can see, looking up into St. James Town, that the outdoor market is in full swing. That sets up every year. All the local residents buy and sell all sorts of things, like a giant yard sale of sorts. And there are something like 17,000 people living in all the apartment towers of St. Jamestown. It's one of the more densely populated urban neighborhoods in North America. Lots of beautiful old townhomes. Some of them are in better shape than others. <laughs> These ones seem to be under renovations. And Parliament Street is right up ahead, so that's where I'm going to head south it being the main commercial and retail strip of the Cabbage Town neighborhood.
Parliament Street extends northward to Bloor Street where it ends. But the more built up commercial aspect really begins from Wellesley, Wellesley South. Looks like all the construction work that's been ongoing here is finally wrapping up. Things look almost normal again here. I think they just have to paint the lines on the street. It's a pet shop. These seem to be sort of a rarity. I wonder if they actually sell actual pets in there and not just pet supplies. It's a Mexican restaurant. see the old townhomes here along Parliament have mostly been converted to commercial purposes. Most of this neighborhood was built up in the mid to late 19th century, so it's quite old by Toronto standards, one of the oldest. one of the landmark buildings in the neighborhood. Since I'm still working from home, I don't actually... I can see a church's chicken is now set up there. I'm not sure how long that's been there. Jet fuel coffee. I'm not sure what the situation is with that. It seems like they were open during all the lockdowns, but they had a very strict sort of procedure as to how you could get your coffee. Almost like a hand sticking it through a hole in the wall. <laughs> now they don't seem to be open at all. I think that was a movie theater a long time ago. Now it's a contemporary dance theater.
corner convenience with the very somewhat iconic for the neighborhood mural. Carlton Street, looking east. And every walkable neighborhood Main Street seems to have a home hardware. It's a homegrown Canadian hardware chain. Still surviving after many years of competing with the big box behemoth that is Canadian Tire. Home Hardware doesn't really do big box stores as far as I know. They're always smaller neighborhood type locations. And this always gets my attention. The golden pigeon. And there's a literal, actual golden pigeon right here. a halal grocery store just a bit further south along Parliament there's a whole strip of Islamic businesses Crossing Gerard Street. So this is the Regent Park neighborhood across the street. Between Parliament and River Street. And Gerard is the northern boundary of that neighborhood. And Dundas is the southern boundary, which will be 
walking past in a few minutes. And the major ongoing redevelopment project at Regent Park is in full swing here at this corner now. This is the latest phase. They're building some new residential buildings to replace some older ones which were demolished. Here's where that strip of Islamic businesses begins. So we're approaching Dundas Street. And there are lots of interesting alleyways crisscrossing the neighborhood as well. And I've walked through most of them. Dundas, local Freshco grocery store. I'm looking towards the heart of downtown along Dundas. Hello, Jim Aguilar. Hello, 
Some halal pizza here. I think this used to be a neighborhood supermarket, but it shuttered some time ago, and now there's a proposal to build a nine story residential mid rise here. But another supermarket is still right here, not quite as big. Muslim community of downtown Toronto and another supermarket here. Got a Somali grill. Crossing Shooter Street. And these are the Moss Park apartments here on my right. Another new mid-rise development is going up right here. This intensification is taking place all over the city. Queen Street. Of course, this is Queen Street East. So now we're firmly in the more southern end of downtown, the southeast corner, you could say. 
or I guess Lower East Side is a term that is more commonly used to describe <laughs> this part of a downtown. Although in Toronto, we don't really use those terms. Upper East Side, Lower East Side, and that sort of thing. Richmond Street is looking towards the financial core. And cars blocking the intersection. Classic Toronto rush hour behavior. There is construction here though, so that's kind of clogging things up a bit more than it would normally be. And this is quite a tall proposal here for this location, 44 stories. Placing this old garage here. I'd say that's a good way to intensify an underutilized downtown location. 44 stories in this part of downtown would seem very tall. Not that I'm against it. Adelaide Street. Here's King Street. So this neighborhood is Corktown now. also be home to a future new subway station as part of the Ontario line. 
Corktown Station will be located here. And that new line is just getting underway now. They closed off part of Queen Street in the heart of downtown already. And I did a video of that recently. And there's 51 Division of the Toronto Police. Cranes are part of the rapidly developing Canary District. And crossing Front Street. I think this building is a data center. Almost looks like something you would see inside of a computer looking at the circuit board or something. And this is a nice, lovely area. This will take you west along the Esplanade, eventually, into downtown. And on this side is the Distillery District neighborhood. Very popular tourist attraction. Parliament Street ends once you go underneath this overpass for the rail corridor, or underpass, I suppose, and then the Gardner Expressway. You pass underneath, and then you'll hit Queen's Quay, and that's the end of Parliament Street. But I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the very end. The last little leg of it here is kind of a drag, to be honest. I think I'll end it right here at this next street coming up. Well, not a street so much as a walkway. <laughs> We're on the edge of the St. Lawrence neighborhood here as well, on the right-hand side. Distillery on the left. And the 
Caroline Co-op. It's a nice view of the tower looking straight down here, but... And it is a street of sorts. <laughs> what is the name of this street? I don't think I know what the name of the street is, but anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hope you enjoyed the walk. Mostly along Parliament Street, starting at Wellesley, where we walked along a bit of Wellesley beforehand. And down here, almost to the very end of Parliament, just a couple minutes north of Queen's Quay. So leave a comment down below if you did enjoy the walk, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also be sure to hit that notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my videos. And there goes the Via Train. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And there's also a super thanks button right down below if you'd like to support the channel that way. And now here comes the GO Train. But thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back, because as always, I will continue. And we'll just continue to watch this train go by.